Hey guys, welcome on into today's video where we're gonna be showing you how to initially set up your Amazon Fire TV device. So as soon as you open the package, you should get an instruction manual. You open this thing up and you can see all the different steps here that we're gonna work our way through in this video. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is you have everything that was supposed to come in the box. So the remote, the Amazon Fire TV device itself, the USB cable, the wall power adapter, as well as some batteries for the remote. So once you make sure that you have everything that was supposed to come in the box, now we're gonna connect the Amazon Fire TV device to our television as well as getting it that power supply from the wall. So we've already plugged in our power adapter as well as our USB cable into the power adapter. And then the other end, we're going to plug into our Amazon Fire TV device. So as soon as we plug this in, we'll be getting a power source to our Amazon Fire TV. The other end is gonna plug into an HDMI port on the back of your television. I'm gonna set this up for HDMI 4. My particular TV has four different HDMI inputs. You gotta make sure you're on the right source with your television, so take out your TV remote, and it should have a button somewhere that says input or source, or it might even just say HDMI. My remote here says source, so I click on that, make sure I'm on the right HDMI input and I'm on HDMI 4. So we're all set and ready to go. So as soon as I plug this in to HDMI port four on the back of my TV, it's gonna start launching the initiation sequence with our Amazon Fire TV device. So I plug that in and to power your remote, the first thing you need to do is pair it. And to pair it, you need to click the little home button here on your device for maybe five, 10 seconds or so. And then once you do that, you should hear like a dinging sound or something to that effect to make you know that your particular remote is now paired to the Amazon Fire TV. So now, once we do that, we put batteries into our remote. And once we do that, we just press the play pause button all right, so now we're getting kind of close to the end here. We need to select our language. We're gonna do United States English. And to click OK, you just click the little circle button here in the middle of the remote. Now we need to connect to our Wi-Fi uh, so we can get internet to our device. So mine's simply named here wireless. And now I'm going to type in my Wi-Fi password. And once you have that Wi-Fi password all typed in and ready to go, you just can either click play, pause, or go down and click the connect button by again, just clicking that circle button here in the middle of your remote. So now it's connecting to my wireless internet connection. And that's the end of step three here for the most part. If you ordered your Amazon device through your Amazon account, it will already be registered. So simple, easy to go, you just click okay that you wanna to register to that account. If you wanna change it, you have to follow the on-screen steps, but it's not too much of a process. Just make sure after you connect to Wi-Fi that if you're purchasing this device on an Amazon account that you don't want it connected to, then make sure you go through that step-by-step -step process to change it to your specific Amazon account. So once we do that, we're pretty much on the home stretch here. You can set up different uh, kids and parental kind of settings. If you don't wanna have parental controls, you just click no parental controls. And now it's just giving us kind of a walk through here for our initial after setup process to just kind of give us an idea of what we can do with the device. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video, guys. Once you go through all of those steps, you should initially be set up ready to go to watch all of your different content, whether it's Amazon, video, Netflix, HBO, all of these different things. Hopefully you have a really fun time watching all of your different content that you can now access on your Amazon TV device. Thanks guys for stopping on in. For more Amazon Fire TV videos, you can check those out on our YouTube channel. Subscribe for more. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comment section. Thanks guys for stopping on in and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.